Hey everyone, welcome back to another video and in this video I'm going to talk about how to fix Split Fiction is having an issue with crashing, it is not launching or won't launch, freezing, stuttering, lagging, low FPS drop, stuck or loading screen and even many more issues which is happening and how we can fix this up. So let's dive into the workaround. So the first step is all about in order to fix the issue, we need to start with a simple restart. So to do a restart, we just need to go over here in the start icon. Now go over here in the power icon and do a restart. Once the restart is done, we just need to check. Next one, we need to launch the game from the installation folder, not from the Steam. So most of us might be launching the Steam in the background or try to launch the game from the Steam, which even causing the issue up. So before that, just go over here, right click and crop, crop go to the properties, go to the installer file and make sure where the game is installed. Over here, as you can see, it is installed on G. So we have two methods. One, you can close the Steam from here and you can just go over here in the file explorer. Now from here, go to this PC and navigate to the installation folder. Steam library, Steam apps, common. Scroll down and navigate to split fiction. Now from here, go to split folder, go to the binaries, Win64. Now from here, you can launch the application, which is .exe. Instead of launching it from the Steam, try launching it from here. This even helped many users as well. Next one, what we need to do is we just need to run the game as administrator and we need to run the game in the compatibility mode. So to run the game in the compatibility mode, hence within the installation folder, we can do it from here itself. Go over here in the .exe, right click, go to show more options, properties, compatibility. Click on run this program in the compatibility mode, set this to Windows 7, go for apply, set this to Windows 8, go for apply. Next one, we need to click on run this program as an administrator. Go for apply and go for ok. Once it is done, just close this and we have to try moving to the next step. Next step is all about we need to delete the saved game file. So to delete the saved game file, go over here in the file explorer. Go to documents, get into my games folder. So if you find the folder here for the split fiction, make sure that you have to delete the respective one. So you'll be losing all the progressions of the game. But even though it is fine, it helped with many users so you can try this out as well. Moving to the next step is all about, we need to allow the game to window security. So to do this, just go over here, search for the control panel, click over here and we need to go over here into the Windows Defender Firewall. Go for here to allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Go over here and scroll down and first not whether the split fiction is already added or not. Most probably in some cases, the game will be added by default. So over here, the split fiction is added and you have to make sure whether they have put a check on both the boxes, private and public. So if you don't find the game here, we need to add it by default. So we need to add it by manually. So to add, just click on change setting, allow another app, browse, navigate to the installation folder, go to Steam library, Steam apps, common, scroll down and navigate to the game folder, get into the .exe. Over here, you can see, just go back, binaries, this one binaries win64 and this go for open and add it i'm getting the error because it's already added that is why i'm getting the error once it is added what we need to do is close this and we have to move to the next step next step we need to unplug all the usb devices so if you're already connected with any multiple monitors or any external joysticks which even cause the issue up so make sure one thing just unplug everything once everything is unplugged you have to try launch the game and you have to check Next one, we need to perform a clean boot on the installation folder. So just go over here, search for system configuration over here, click on this one. And what we need to do is go to services, go for disable all, hide all Microsoft services, go for apply, go for OK. They can ask you for restart, do the restart and I'm going to skip this part. But the users who are watching this, we need to go for the restart. Next step is all about, we need to disable the Steam overlay and we have to type these commands in the launch option. So to do this, just go over here, open the game. Now from here, first go over here in the game, right click, go to the properties. Make sure enable the Steam overlay while in game is actually turned it on. That is one of the reason why we end up in having the crashing issue. So we need to uncheck this or we need to turn this off and try launch the game. Still, if it's not working, we have to give commands in the launch option. So the first command is DX11. That's what we have to try. 
If DX11 is not working, we have to start with DX12. If DX12 is not working, we have to start with D3, D2. So these are the steps. Either we have to start with DX11, DX12 or D3, D2. So if these things are not working, just remove everything and you can move to the next step parallelly. Next step is all about what we need to do is just go over here. We need to close all the overlay and overclocking application, which is a very important step. So to do this, just go over here in the start, right click, go to the task manager. And right now you can see the lot of things running in the background. And all these things are actually utilizing the performance. And that is why whenever we launch these kind of games, we end up then having the crashing issue. So just go over here and if you find anything like a discord ediva tuner epic games launcher msa afterburner and all those things all these things can be removed from here and once these things remote we just need to close this and we have to go back and try launching the game next one we need to run the game on dedicated graphics card so to do this just go over here search for the graphics settings and you have to click on this one and right now what we need to do is we just need to go over here in the browse Navigate to this PC, go to local disk G, Steam library, Steam apps, common. Scroll down and navigate to the split fiction. Go to the engine, content, not this one, binaries, not this one. Go back, split, binaries, Win64, select this one and add it. Now it is added. Now we have to click on the option. Now it is by default, let Windows aside. Change this to high performance. And it will be running on NVIDIA GeForce. GTX 1650 Super and go for save. Now we just need to close this and we have to go back and try launch the game. Next one, we need to increase the VRAM. So to do this, just go over here, search for view advanced system setting. Just click on this one, go to the advanced tab, go for settings, advanced once again, go for change. Make sure this is blank and you have to select where the game is installed, that is G. Now we need to go to the custom size, set the value for initial size that is 1.5 times the total RAM and the maximum size 3 times the total RAM. So we need a calculator, so just go over here, search for the calculator. Now we need to type the RAM. So type 16 GB is what we need to type, that is the RAM, multiplied with 1024, that is a constant value, multiplied with 1.5 because initial is always 1.5 times the total RAM. Now we need to go to the maximum size, that is 16 GB multiplied with 1024 and we have to multiply with 3 that is 49,052 and we have to paste it. Now go for OK and every value has been given and once afterwards you have to check. Next one, the most important steps in this video that is we need to update the graphics card as well as we need to install the Microsoft Visual C++. So to do this, what we need to do is we just need to go back over here in the link and we need to go to the NVIDIA official over here, which I'll be providing in the description. So if you're on the NVIDIA first, go over here, select the GeoForce. So if you're on the GeoForce, select GeoForce. If you're on the any other, you can select it accordingly. Now go over here, GeoForce RTX 15 series. Now go to GeoForce NVIDIA RTX over here. Now we need to go to the Windows 11 and go for find. Right now, what we need to do is we just need to go over here and what we need to do is go over here and if the based on your configuration, based on the latest released versions, you can select it and go for the view. Now you'll be getting a page like this. Now from here, you have to download this particular version. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to go over here, go to the graphics, go to the Arduino RX 5000 series, 7000 over here and you have to go to the submit. Based on your PC's configuration, you have to select. What I have to take randomly selected for the AMD, but the users, you have to select accordingly. If you're on the Windows 11 with 64-bit edition, download this one. If you're, if you're on Windows 10 with 64-bit edition, download this one. If you're on Windows 7 with 64-bit edition, download this one. Afterwards, try downloading and installing the Microsoft Visual C++. So keep scrolling down over here. Now we can go to the X64, download this one. And if the system is based on x86, we can download this one. You can also try go over here. You can also try next few important step that is verify the game file and we need to uninstall and reinstall the game. So that's very important. So go over here to the Steam and first go over here, right click, go to the manage and uninstall the game and you can reinstall it back. While reinstalling it back, you should not be installing back on the G because right now the game is on G. You have to try either F or C. That's what we have to try. And the verify game file is just go over here, right click, go to the properties, install it file and just click on the verify game file, which will be cross-checking every single files of a game. 
and if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this so it is going to take a lot of time so what i'm going to do is i'm not going to make you guys wait i'll be i'll be making this fast into two times and i'll be skipping this one by one so once this is done most probably you can try a restart on your system and you can go back to the steam once again and you can launch that is going to work for you in most cases and i hope this quick video is helpful so this is in the process because uh, the verify game file is going through so you don't have to worry this will take a lot of time because the game is around 19 gb so i'm gonna skip this part once it is done you'll be getting a prompt message like saying that you know all the files are successfully validated which means you're fine and you can try launch the game so these are the steps and i hope this quick video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification see you soon next video peace out bye bye